Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Fooly Craft. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic today. Dudes, uh, last time we built the shooting range, <laughs> and that was just before I went to California. I had to backlog a little bit. I was gonna do more episodes, but I didn't want to backlog. Like, I've enjoyed this season so much playing together with you guys and hearing your guys' feedback and stuff in the comments down below means a lot. Plus, the fact that we are streaming quite a bit of full craft makes it really tough to backlog. So now that I'm full time, it's it's actually a very nice thing to not have to backlog. But anyway, I've been to California. I've talked about it in a few streams. I'm sure you've heard about it. It was a very, very fun, amazing experience. We raised $262,000 for extra life and for uh, for the kids. So, um, it was a very, very, very fun week, weekend, I was there for four days, American Border didn't believe me, they were like, no, you're not gonna be here for just four days, you stupid idiot. Anyway, since then, I've, uh, I've had a couple of streams from the server, we did one stream with Rendo, where we did some weapon testing, and we tried out these turrets, can I fade mine this, by the way? Uh, I can't even destroy them. Yeah, we tried out these turrets with, uh, with Ren, I did install some upgrades in some of them, um, Fake drops. Oh, no, maybe we did that together last time. But anyway, I, I wanted to see how much damage this did to Ren in his super armor and Turns out that uh, they, they did zero damage. They did zero damage, but we tried out some guns and stuff in case you missed it There is a video on my channel that you can go check out. It's like a two and a half hour stream footage called uh, Arena fighting or something rifle battle with with Rendog. I think it's called today dudes Today is the day. I'm so freaking excited. We're gonna go to Jurassic Park. And we're going to try. I want to put up everything today. I want to get a functioning mob farm. I'm taking into account all of the things that you guys commented on how we're gonna deal with certain problems uh, from last time. And I've taken into account all of those things and hopefully we can make it work. Of course, dudes, if you guys are still enjoying full crap, make sure to show me some love down below. Hit the like button and also, uh, of course, subscribe if you're new. Uh, okay, so the first thing that that's people suggested, by the way, I've removed the labels on these because uh, of frame lag. We can, uh, we can do that using this concealment key. Um, if I just right click on this again, I can see them, which I need to do for a second. Uh, suggestion from one person, which I think is very clever was to cover the thing. A lot of people said you can just cover the uh, the sky with blocks because you, if you guys remember, we can't have sky axes because then they will burn up. Someone said though, why don't you cover it with dark ineffable glass on top of the arena? It won't affect the player boundary box, but the mobs can't get out and they won't be burnt by the sun. So I want to try that first. Um, so let's go there. We, we gotta we gotta pran some things. We gotta pran some, some things over here. We gotta get pranning. A lot of people are actually quite upset about about the building design here. I think it's beautiful, dudes. I really love this. A lot of people were like, uh, this can learn another build style for crying out loud. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I not say, though, that I think this looks fantastic? Stupid idiot. Don't, don't freaking judge. Anyway. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm just kidding. So someone said we should cover it in, in this stuff. And I kind of want to see how that looks. Uh, and I guess we'll just... I just picked a random height here. Doesn't really matter. The only problem with this is, though, I wanted to place the turrets up here. And we can't really do that if we have this. So, we'd have to build the turrets into the walls. Which may look... You know what? That may even look better. It may even look better. Let's let's just uh, try that as we are here as well. So, maybe we'll do something like we'd have a the turret base there. And we do a turret there. Uh, boop. There. And there. I mean, that's gonna look pretty sick when we have that all the way around. We don't have them everywhere, but when we have them, like, spotted out, or however we want to put them. I guess we should measure that out. We go two in between, um, and then maybe three here. Hold on, let me break this garbage again. There we go. Very fine. If we would go one, two, three, boom. Okay? One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. Counting with this, got one, two, three, boom. Aha, that doesn't work out. <laughs> Crap. Crappers. Let's uh let's break this again. Cause then it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't align properly. So we could do two in the center on either side. It's gonna be a crap ton of turrets, but from the testing that we did uh in the last episode, it's gonna be we're gonna need quite a few of these turrets, if I'm honest. So if I would go if I would go three there, three there, can we get a center point of two here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we can. Right there, right? Boom. Yeah, 
would go something like that. And I don't think it looks bad that they stick out and we can access them from behind. We're going to be able to install wires and stuff. This is good. This is good. We could have four turrets. Uh, we could even have five turrets on either of those. Yeah, look at that. That doesn't look bad. Come on now, dudes. I'm going to have to do a crap ton more crafting <laughs> of these turrets today. Leave and see if I can afford them. And then right here we do something like this. Okay. And then on the top. Oh, it's gonna look so freaking scary. There we go. By the way, dudes, another thing that you guys suggested. After the stream I did with Ren, uh, when we did the rifle battle, we just kind of, we, we just took a random place in the world and we just started fighting it out with Keep Inventory on. Um... And a lot of you want to see an arena where we, the members of the server, fight it out uh, only using Modern Warfare weapons. Now, that was the plan for last season, the B-dubs arena that we started building. Um, and I'm gonna have a check with Skolda again to see uh, how possible it is today, uh, or now, to copy it over. Because he tried when we started the server, but uh, it didn't work out. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad cover because of the multi-texture glass. That's not bad. It's gonna be quite we could light it up down here as well. Yeah, I think I think this is the best the best solution. Because with normal glass they're gonna burn up. However, this should block sunlight. Actually, we should probably test that. I have a skeleton with me. Let's uh let's place him over here. So he shouldn't start burning there. No, no. I mean at the moment zombies will even spawn. So if he goes out, yeah, yeah, he starts burning. Alright. Well, I think, I think this is the best solution then, and the turret's underneath, and we'll light it up somehow. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, yeah, excuse me, as I was saying, um, I'm gonna check with Skola how possible it is to extract the arena. I, I can't, I can't remember how much Chisel and Bit was in it, because that was the problem, Chisel and Bit, when we tried to copy City or maybe. So I'll, I'll check with him. With the whole thing filled in without any lights below, <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool. Looks like a, that this is good to know because I may I may want to use this for something else. Of course, we're not going to use it now, but it looks like a, a dark ocean, a black ocean of some sort. Um, <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. I just wanted to show you dudes that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so the next step to that, I got all the turrets installed, by the way. I crafted up way too many. They're actually pretty cheap. Like, it's a it's a process to make them, but these things, we have so much electrical steel. And then it's just, like, redstone, gold, iron, uh, wood, and cobble. So it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The next step to this thing is to, uh, we gotta wire all of these up. So what I've done here is I've dug out, like, a trench inside the wall, and I'm gonna do that all the way around. Um, and then connect everything up to the same. It's very important, I think, at least, that it's connected to the same, uh, to the same conduit. Because the way we're gonna send... Oh, this is actually gonna be an issue here. Um, uh, oh, well, maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can snake our way through here. Through the, through the, yeah, yeah, this should be fine. Um, yeah, it's quite important that we use the same conduit, the item conduit for all of these. Well, we could work, we could work around that too. But if we use the same item conduit for all of these, then um, we'd be able to use the round robin so that the bullets, which we also need to set up a production and stuff for, will be sent to the uh, uh, like they will be sent fairly to the to the to the to the to the turrets. Boom! Let's do something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire a I'm gonna dig all this out around, and then we're gonna go with an item conduit line. Like a this, and I'm gonna set all of these to. Actually, why did I not dig one further below? I'm gonna set all these to insert on these. The good thing is we only need one per per turf base, so it's not like we need uh, we need a massive amount here. Or we need to set a massive amount because that's gonna take it's gonna take some time this anyway. But yeah, uh, do that, and then also an energy conduit on the same line, and I love the Ender I.O. conduits. Someone told me in stream, though, that they cause a lot of FPS lag, so I'm hoping that they don't. Um, like, I've always thought that these were the least prone to lag, because they don't really have any animation on them and stuff, but I don't freaking know, dude. It's hard. It's hard to know. But yeah, all of these goes on insert. That's gonna send the bullets in. I think uh, in the tests, the, the drops do not teleport into the turret. They just... Uh, Simply drop on the ground, so we're gonna have to deal with that somehow as well. And we're gonna have to do upgrades for all of these, which I think 
I'll do last. Actually, saying that, I want to check something. Can I access the turret base from this side? I can. Okay. Yeah, so we should be fine. Then, uh, I've, I've looked around in the area here, and this side here has a mountain behind, so we can hide all the, uh, all the stuff in there. Like, we're gonna wire, I'm gonna dig out a little bit of a, little bit of a room. Alright, I got all the wires hooked up. It actually didn't take so long. It, it went pretty quick. Now, we, I, I'm kind of sitting here thinking about what or how we're gonna spawn the mobs in. Because I haven't figured that out, if I'm honest. Um, we could use auto spawners for this and spawn exactly the mobs that we would want. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to kick myself. Hold on. And I'm back. I hate that bed bug. The bed bug of doom. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, we could obviously use auto spawners, uh, these things over here. Uh, and if we use these, we could decide uh, exactly what we want to spawn. That's one option. And we could, I suppose I was thinking just a second ago that it's going to be a problem because of essence. But we got essence cows. And look at this, by the way, we've upgraded to the mini moose today. Oh, they're so gorgeous. They're so freaking cute. The only problem is you can't copy them anymore. You can spawn them in, like this machine will still work, but uh, you can't copy them. Um, but yeah, we could use an essence cow to power multiple of these powered spawners. That may be a good idea. We could also use the powered spawners from Ender IO, uh, but they're basically the same, I think. You just have to uh, combine them. I prefer the auto spawners perfect, uh, personally. They are a little bit easy to manage and stuff. And you can change. You don't have to rebuild the whole thing. You can change it uh, inside it. So that's one option. The other option is to do the, the drop of evil, which I think we're going to start by testing with. Um, the problem with drop of evil, as we saw last season, is that it's going to blow. It's going to blow up the 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 thing at the, in the end of at the end of the day. The thing eventually blows up because uh, creepers. I don't understand it, but creepers blow it up basically. Um, we need creepers anyway, though, because to create the bullets, we need electrical steel, which we have, conductive iron, which we have, and then we need gunpowder, which we aren't producing at the moment. And we need to set up an autocrafter with this. Um, so I'm a little bit scared with how we're going to do this. We could just make gunpowder out of uh, essence seeds. Oh, I don't know, dude. It's like, either we could do essence seeds and do the gunpowder and skip, skip spawning creepers. We could spawn witches using auto spawners, or we could do the drop of evil. But I think the other thing we need to figure out now that, I, now that I'm thinking about this, uh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place down this. We're gonna have to fill it with, uh, with bullets, so I'm just gonna craft up. I mean, it's one gunpowder per 64, so it's pretty, uh, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of gunpowder, uh, or a lot of bullets we get per gunpowder. We, we are not gonna, like, need a massive amount of gunpowder, but... We're definitely going to need it because these bullets, they go so freaking quick. Another issue that I found as well whilst doing this is that we need more of these. And I can't craft any of them because we need quartz. Freaking quartz. But yeah, what I'm thinking now is maybe we should make the gunpowder essence. That's easy to do. And that way we can produce gunpowder and then just use auto spawners. But first things first, I think we got to figure out how to pick up the loot. And there are a couple of things that we could do. We do have the, uh, there's the vacuum chest. Uh, this thing here from Ender.io, but there's also the Absorption Hopper, which I heard can pick up things through blocks. So let's try that out. Let's do the following. Let's build a... Let's get some glass so that we can see what's going on from our Garbachi of Doom. Um, if we were to have the Absorption Hopper sitting right here, and then we fully encase this and, and the corners like that, will that pick that up? Oh, it does pick it up through the blocks. Nice! Yeah, so we're definitely going to use absorption hoppers. That's going to be the next thing we have to do then. Um, let's see, how expensive are these to make? Absorption, hopper, uh, these things. They are pretty cheap for us. We should have all of these resource eyes. We're going to need quite a few though. I don't think the range of these things are very great. Uh, maybe we can find out. Maybe it says 7 by 7 Yeah, uh, so we're going to need quite a few. Okay, so they do work in a 7x7 area, as we saw, um, or as it, <laughs> as it says on them. I think I'm going to place them in a... I got 33. Yeah, let's try and place them in like a 6x6 though. Uh, or maybe that's just stupid. They're going to work in a 7x7. So if I have a square here, this would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So if I put... I'm going to dig down. 
put them underneath here. Gonna have to clear <laughs> clear a lot of space underneath there. But if I do that, then that should pick something up all the way over in the corner there, right? Right? Get, get, cut. Did I math wrong? It picks it up here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, I did math wrong. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> good thing I tested. Uh, let's put it here then, I guess. Two out. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's a seven by seven, not a, not a freaking whatever, 14 by 14. So there will make sense. Now it's going to pick it up here. Yeah, and it's also going to pick it up everywhere else. So I'm going to make a pattern, basically. But first things first, I guess, the boring stuff first. I'm going to have to uh, dig everything out because we're going to have to wire this. Uh, oh, this is actually... This may be uh, maybe time for a builder here. Did I bring... Do I bring my builder with me? I have the energy cube. All right, let's see if we can do this. I marked an area. Hopefully, it's the correct one. Like I was saying, we need this to be a uh, we need this to be a rather big uh, space underneath in order to fit to, uh, all the cables. Please don't destroy anything you shouldn't. Uh, please destroy something though. <laughs> what the crap? I th I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it started over here. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, nice boy. Oh, it leaves the chance cube behind. What a what a nice treat. I don't dare to open that actually. That's gonna suck. I really, what if we get like inception? A big chunk here. Yeah, I can't I can't dig that out. Uh, but that's beautiful. So now that we have this dug out underneath, um, I can go ahead and place down the, the absorption hoppers. We need an item. <laughs> we need an item station here as well. One, two, three, four. Actually, no. One, two, three, four. We don't need an item station here. We have the barracks where we're going to store everything, right? Ah, this doesn't line up. This does not line up. Hold on. Did I mess this up? No, it's the correct crap. So we're going to have to <laughs> going to have to have another one right here because we're uneven, I would I would say, I would guess. Anyway, let me place these uh, black boxes down. Also, I think you need to uh, to do down item and we need to also make sure or see if it drops XP. If it drops XP, it's actually a good thing. We just need to have a little bit more infrastructure down here. There are a lot of small bits and bobs that needs to be sorted before we can try this out. I'm getting too eager here. Uh, but we need some power over there. So I went ahead and made two uh, dimensional transceivers. I may just made, well make a third one. It took me a while because it requires like quartz and yeah, a lot of stuff that I didn't have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to put this to output on the back. And I can actually pick up my, my things again. And then let's create a new energy channel. Let's uh, call it uh, uh, I-85. I mean, <laughs> there's no one else in, in, the, uh, in the thing. And that's going to send power. So this is now sending power. And then we need to receive it on the other end. I'm also going to make, I think for this test, let's just make a trash can. Yeah, let's just make a trash can so that we avoid all the items for now. Um, and then we'll set it up properly in a little bit here. Uh, but I kind of want to try that out. Is this everything now? There was something else I was thinking about. All the upgrades. Oh, no. The bullets. Yeah, the bullets. We, I haven't hooked that up yet. So, um, what we'll have to do is, like, we'll have to come up with an auto-crafting system for this once we have an income of gunpowder. And then possibly send it over in an ender chest or a dimensional transceiver. But we got to send it over quick. If this... Uh, Packaging tape. If this stops uh, working, <laughs> if uh, if we stop sending bullets, this thing is gonna over flood and it's gonna go pretty crazy. Which is probably what's gonna happen now, if I'm honest. Actually, let me switch to that home park uh, because we are gonna run out of bullets and I will have no way to stop this thing once it started. Maybe I do. Maybe a magnite torch will will block uh, cursed earth. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to vein mine all the dirt basically. I think. Um, but yeah, let's remove all this. I have these. Uh, I have the, uh, can't even remember the last cutscene, but I think I have all the uh, the hoppers underneath hooked up, as you can see. So things are, uh, I should have done this the other way around, stupid idiot. Uh, things are being picked up. And I also enter, I made an entrance to that. Where did I make this entrance? Oh, what the crap happened there? I have no freaking clue, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just make an entrance. Oh, the entrance is right over here. Down to it. Boom. So down here, I've, I've uh, also linked up all of these, like I've uh, made them output. 
I'm just going to pull a cable. This cable should be connected everywhere. This is where we'll have our item sender, but uh, for now we'll just do this. Uh, I may want to upgrade these with speed upgrades. The uh, These things here with item speed upgrades, the, the conduits. We'll see. We'll see how quick <laughs> how quick this thing is. Obviously when we use the auto spawners, it's going to be controllable how quick it is. But okay, let me remove this guy and this should already spawn some mobs. Ah, crap. That's just voided now. Whatever. Whatever. Um, we need to hook up the power. I almost I almost, I almost, almost made a boo-boo there. But yeah, we need to hook up the power. So for now, let's just put this guy here. Let's go into power channels and receive. And that should be fantastic. And then item conduits goes... Um, yeah, okay. We'll do this for now. And we'll do energy. And then we'll, I hear skeletons. We'll put down this there. Now this here will be round robin enabled. Always active. Okay, so this should start pulling out items very quickly. Quantify. Yeah, 8,000 bullets are going out. And they're being evenly distributed into all of these. Uh, they're also getting energy. Very fine. And I definitely... Ah! Okay. Okay, they're starting to shoot. Something spawned. That was a creeper. Okay, and then you see the gunpowder was picked up. You know what I want to do? Let's get out of here for real, uh, real quick. I do... Let's skip, let's skip the trash can. Let's make... Uh, Let's make a chest or something, just so we can see what we're getting. Let's let's bring a few of these chests, and oh, we're gonna run out of bullets so freaking quick. Item speed upgrade. Let's make. Can I make? I did make a bunch of those though. Oh, they're in here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so freaking prepared. Let's go back here. Uh, at least uh, let's install 15, which is max, into the uh, into the uh, into the bullet distributor because. Uh, Oh, look at these turrets. They look so freaking cool. Yeah, because this here is important. This is super important that we uh, that we uh, send the bullets quickly. There we go. That's the max speed it can send it with. And it's still probably going to be pretty slow. I'm hoping also that with this same, same item conduit that we can send out uh, the upgrades later. Because otherwise that will take ages. Oh, it does send a stack at the time now though. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that may be what the speed upgrade did. Okay, uh, let's go down below. I'm actually gonna dig a dig an entrance here instead. I think somewhere around here, maybe. There it, there it is. There, uh, there she is. Okay. So I'm thinking just for this test, we'll we'll just hook up a few of these, so we can see what we get. Boom, boom, boom. All of these on insert and insert. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a... I'm, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Like, something may I, something may go wrong. I can't even shut this thing down. So, we may be in trouble if we get loads of creeper explosions here. We'll see. The turret should be far enough away. We do get XP as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's a good thing. Wait. Does the... Uh, does the pickup system not work in all of a sudden? It works there. Oh, is there like a... Ah, Iskal, you stupid idiot. You mismeasured. Did he? Did he mismeasure? Yeah, there are definitely spots where they ain't getting picked up. That sucks. Yeah, let's just do it. YOLO! Here we go. Ah. Uh, oh, it's cursed. It's coarse dirt. It's coarse dirt. It's gonna be so loud here, by the way. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna switch this out for uh, regular dirt. And... <laughs> Like two big issues right now. One issue is that I didn't uh, the, I didn't count these correctly. That's gonna take a long time to fix. Uh, to add more and uh, uh, or am I busy? Uh, I'm recording. One sec. She needs help probably. Okay. We are we are gentlemen. Even though we I mean we do have a pirate alliance together. But yeah, one issue is that the second issue is that you can't output fluid. And uh, items on the same, so you can only choose. So I'm gonna have to like um, <laughs> do one of the sides to go uh, to go with uh, with fluids, and then connect up fluid dots to them because we need to take care of the XP. Otherwise, this will will be a massive lag fest. Um, so I'm gonna do that as well. Maybe not right now though. I kind of want to see this in action, um, and I'm super scared. You know, it's gonna be a mayhem, absolute destruction derby down here. That was a fantastic video game, by the way. But yeah, it's gonna be a, a absolute, absolute disaster because I won't be able to switch it off if we have creepers blowing up. But there we go. Okay, we are ready for the big test. Let me let me get this this one out as well. Boom. 
So we got the chests lined up. I got these. Okay. 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 Oh, the crap! Oh. Okay. Okay, I may crash the server right now. Oh. Look at that! That's the sickest thing I've ever seen. Wow! <laughs> like I said, like I said, I can't switch it off. It's gonna run out of bullets though, and then disaster will strike. Okay, so you know maybe it's running out of bullets already. Okay. Uh oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to delete all of this uh, cursed dirt somehow. Without a creeper blown up. No! Okay, we, we did get one creeper blow up right there. That's the problem, right? Because the skeletons will attack. Oh my goodness, this is... This is disaster. How am I gonna... How am I... I can't just leave the area. I could... If, if I get all the cursed dirt away, I could leave the area, I suppose. There are so many creepers, though. Yep, there are so many creepers. Potion of invisibility, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is total mayhem, dudes. That's, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear the explosions. Wow. I think we're good. Let's leave, <laughs> let's leave the area. Let's not talk about it. That was a complete mayhem, though. <laughs> and because of that mod, because of the Gib mod, it's so freaking gorgeous how they just explode. Oh. Like I said, we may want a uh, controlled environment though when we do this. Let's go uh, all the way home actually. Yeah, we may want to do auto spawners just to be uh, just to be extra safe. But the bullets, 8,000 bullets ran out in what? Time it guys, time it. How how quick did that not happen? That was the sickest thing I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, let's see, uh, let's see if they've despawned. They have despawned, although new mobs will spawn now down here. Uh, okay. <laughs> things are things aren't worth doing unless they're worth overdoing. Yeah, look at all this stuff so quickly as well. We got a pet bag. Nice. Our first pet bag. Uh, nether portal pet. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. So, <clears throat> that's interesting. We got a pet bag. You don't... We don't have player upgrade kills in these. Wait a minute. I haven't upgraded them with the fake player upgrade things. These yield player drops anyway? Wait. Did we get skulls in here as well? We do get What the crap? Didn't we test this like we needed the player drop things for them to drop the player stuff? I'm pretty sure... Unless... No, I had exact. Okay, let's check this. I had exactly eight. I had exactly eight player kill things. Did I put them in here? Uh, at ten. I had exact. I mean, I had exactly ten. Because I made two extra. Yeah, I haven't- I haven't put them in. They're- they're right- they're right over here. That's interesting. So we don't need the player kill thing. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll freaking take it. I'll freaking take it. All right. Morning voice, here we go. Had to, um, had to drag this episode out <laughs> another day. Um, so, since, uh, since we were last here, since the last cutscene, I've added another row on, uh, on uh, both sides here with vacuum hoppers. Unfortunately, my brain <clears throat> messed up, so they replaced down one, but it's fine. It's still gonna work. Um, so hopefully that will now pick up all the items. I've also hooked up fluid ducts, as you can see. And I realized one thing, you could uh, you can actually drain things without having any taps. So I think, for example, this is fine. You you don't need to push the item out because the uh, uh, end IO conduits will push it out anyway. As le at least that's what I hope. But we, we're gonna test it right now. I made some drums. These are the reinforced drums, uh, and I just want to see if we can fill this up with XP. Uh, did I bring... Uh, is Kalyus to... Okay, no, I have a little bit. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So uh, that's going to save us a lot of time. First first off, I started by hooking them up to the sides here. Um, but then I, then I realized that I don't think you need that. So let's check this out. Yes, there we go. Very nice. Four million... Is what this thing can hold. Okay. So basically this farm will produce XP as well as items. And it seems to me, like we said yesterday, 
that it's player kills. Uh, it counts player kills as well, which is fan freaking fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And we're gonna need all of these like super bags, as you guys know, um, because you get so much good stuff from them. So I was really planning on uh, on finishing <laughs> this part today, the spawning part, but. I, I just edited this video. I had like 50 minutes of good footage that I thought was good. Cut it down to 28 minutes. Uh, removed all my crafting and my nonsense talking and stuff that I did. It's Kalan cut stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're still running out of video time. So we'll have to do the spawning thing next time. I think it was really fun to see the, uh, the cursed earth though. But I think I want to go with the control environment of auto spawner. So the next time... We will have the challenge of putting up auto spawners and making them all, wiring them all up so we can switch them on and off. Ideally, I would also want to have total control of what we spawn in. So we'll have, we'll build like a dashboard thing. And I'm not sure where, because uh, all of you said that we should build towers here, which I think is a good idea in the corners. But maybe we should have a larger, like, tower thing over here or building. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, but where you can control everything. So we'll build a dashboard where you can like flick a lever for zombies, flick a lever for skeletons, endermen, etc, etc, etc. Because we can do that with auto spawners. It's going to be pretty easy uh, to do. But let me know what you guys think. Total mayhem. Total absolute freaking mayhem. In between cutscenes as well. I made a magnet. I just want to show you that. Making some infrastructure stuff. And... I went and harvested a bunch of leaves and stuff for the future for this uh, for this project. For this uh, project. But yeah, anyway. It's been a lot of fun and this is pretty insane. Let me know if you also have any ideas for the floor. I kind of want something that looks bloody. Maybe we'll actually go with like um, some netherrack, possibly. Like this stuff here. This stuff. It's very like, it looks bloody. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. I, I wish there was like... I guess we could do chisel and bits blocks. To make it look bloody and like disgusting on the ground. But yeah, like I said. Next time we'll work on the auto spawners and the dashboard. We'll make sure to uh, to, to to make the final stretch of this uh, mob arena. But, but uh, it's pretty freaking sick. We also need to auto craft bullets. Anyway dudes, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. This has taken a lot of time for me uh, to record so please do share some love down below and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and uh, thank you all for your support and love and I'll see you in the next episode.